The investigation into exactly what happened continues. People are taking time to comfort each other and pray. Two prayer services were held in Lebanon tonight. 24 Hour News 8's Megan Centorum is live there now. And Megan, they were very well attended. Is that correct? Yeah, Julian, hundreds of people came together to pray tonight. They say this community has a lot of healing to do. Little did we know that this week would have in store for our usually quiet rural community. Hearts are hurting in Boone County, so everyone in this crowd came looking for peace and comfort. In a time of tragedy, they're turning to faith and each other. We need a lot of prayer. We need a lot of love as we uh, try to heal from this and uh, try to love one another and support one another. There were members of law enforcement, children and adults at the prayer service. The loss of Deputy Pickett is one felt by people who never even had a chance to meet him. Organizers here say getting through this won't be easy. Uh, this community needs a lot of healing and we need to be unified and we're hoping that this sparks that unity, it sparks that love, and it sparks that healing. The loss comes during an especially tough time for this community. In the same week, they also lost the lives of a high school student and city council member. Your focus is to pray for celebration of life, to thank God for these three. There are all kinds of lives that have been affected, not just by, by Deputy Pickett's death, but also uh, Sidney Foster and also Jeremy Lamar uh, here at the end of this last week. And uh, it just kind of snowballs on us. So on Sunday, they prayed and shared memories of the deputy who spent his life protecting others. A great guy, jovial, and uh, loved what he did. So it's going to be missed. Good. Leaders from several different churches in this area work together to plan both of those prayer services. Reporting live, Megan Sanctorum, 24-Hour News 8.